Hello, my name is Joe, and I play Clash of Clans free to play. This could be your base 22 months from now. Yeah, we're not even close to maxed out, huh? <laughs> Today would be episode 44 of the Town Hall 12 free to play series. Now, for those of you out there that don't believe that it's been 22 months and this is what our base looks like, all you got to do is go over to YouTube under the playlist and look up episode one of the Town Hall 7 free to play series. August 21st of 2019 is when we started this series. I know, man. For those of you guys out there that are playing free to play, you are a legend, my friend. Friend, you have a serious dedication that most players do not, especially if you made it all the way to Town Hall 12. I know I commend you. So anyways, we got some really good news this morning. So I opened up the news tab and I found that we had the Clan Games rewards. And within the Clan Games rewards, we gained a book of Ooh. in those rewards. Obviously, you got to max out the Clan Games within your clans to obtain that. But we're going to definitely do so in our clan because we got a pretty large clan that plays clan games regularly. But with that being stated, that means that we have exactly two hero books this season because the second hero book will come in our season pass. There's our other one right there. You know what that means? No, oh, that means that we're going to be maxing out our Grand Warden this season, guys. So the Warden is currently under upgrade to level 38. We grind nonstop. The best way to play Clash of Clans free to play is to keep your builders down at all times. Obviously, right now we have a builder. So in today's episode, we're going to discuss some tips on ways that can keep you motivated to keep working on your villages if you are playing free to play. Because if I'm gonna be honest with you about Town Hall 12, things do slow down quite a bit when it comes to the progression of your base. It's really kind of designed that way. And a lot of players tend to ask me, is it possible to max out your account all the way to the top level in the game free to play? And my answer for that is, I don't really know. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't think it's possible because Clash of Clans drops four different updates every single year. And so every time you get to a new Town Hall level they might add in a new town hall level and the bar keeps getting raised higher and higher and it seems like it becomes a little bit more unachievable as time goes on but the thing is is that you got to find some form of motivation and if i'm being real with you between you and i you guys are my motivation to keep playing this account free to play knowing that there are viewers that are following along trying to do the same things that i'm doing tends to motivate me just a little bit it. And so it helps me progress as we move forward in the series. Now I'm working on Dark Elixir farming because I have a plan for maxing out my heroes. A lot of players out there don't believe in maxing out heroes. They think that it's not worth it. But knowing how the game is progressed and how the game is played, the higher level heroes do tend to assist you in the progression of your attacks in clan war or farming or trophy pushing. If you have those higher level Level heroes things do get a lot easier so at this point we've covered three different tips if you miss them we said keep your builders down find some motivation in the game and upgrade your heroes for some of you guys that have been with me for a really long time i might be your motivation so tip number four would be find some enjoyment in farming i know that is really hard to say because not everybody out there enjoys farming and i really don't enjoy farming on most situations myself i would rather just be doing clan war attacks and hope that my base will be fully maxed out but i know a lot of you guys out there just don't know how to do that and that's why we show you stuff like this because at the end of the day in order to play free to play unless you're doing something that i don't know about <laughs> you gotta make sure that you farm non-stop to keep the resources coming in in order to upgrade your villages keep those builders going keep those heroes upgrading you guys got the point that all links in together right so let's go ahead and use our archer queen here we're going to try to get a little bit of resources put this queen to work while we have her available that way we can conserve our resources there 
there are a lot of different methods to farm. Town Hall 12 has a lot of different options. You like miner farming? Great. If you like sneaky goblin farming, do that instead. Or if you like to use lightning spells and baby dragons, this is also an option. So tip number five is make sure that you change your armies regularly. Meaning don't use baby dragons all the time just because you see me do it. If you get bored with baby dragons, switch to a different army. Use sneaky goblins instead. They're a lot faster anyway. So I'm about to do something that most of you guys out there will not agree with. Here's the situation. We got 13 million worth of gold in our storages. Would you upgrade a defense if you had a builder available or would you dump that gold into walls, hold on to that builder with the intent to upgrade an archer queen? I'm sure most of you guys out there probably said that you're going to take the easiest route and you're just going to go ahead and upgrade a defense, right? That's what most of you guys are going to do. This is my next tip for you. Make a plan and stick with it. Let me show you what the plan is thus far. Now, for those of you out there that do not watch my channel, nor do you watch the series, nor do you have any understanding of what I'm doing in the first place, every single town hall level that we play, we have a plan. We open up the beginning of the series with a priority guide, and I try my best to follow that priority guide as often as possible now here's what's really funny about both YouTube and Clash of Clans most of you guys look at these videos and you look at this little guy right here the town hall and you think because it's not the town hall level that you're playing it does not apply to you and that is completely false and the fact of the matter is is that after 22 months of playing free to play town hall 7 town hall 8 town hall 9 10 11 and now 12 we have gone through multiple town hall levels with multiple priority guides and we have started out our priority guide in the same exact manner just about every single time starting out with the laboratory upgrade to upgrade those troops the clan castle to open up the option to donate or request more troops as well as those spell housing or siege machines and then also with our hero upgrades we always prioritize them very early in the plan the plan if you will because that way we we do not get out of balance defenses almost always upgrade a lot faster than everything on your village you will finish them first before you ever max your heroes or your laboratory so you got to try to find that balance and that's why i stick with the plan now with that being stated let's talk about that laboratory real fast for tip number seven <laughs> tip number seven when it comes to your laboratory a lot of players out there will ask about the these clan war league medals right here and they're always asking where should i spend my clan war league medals well after 22 months of gameplay we have decided or actually kind of figured out for ourselves that the best option has always been the hammer of fighting on dark elixir troops or troops of high amount of days to upgrade right because we're working on heroes and it's really hard to grind both heroes and let's say a golem upgrade right that's a lot of dark elixir and and we really don't want to spend three days in the game just to try to do both so that's where those hammers of fighting come into play to help you speed up your laboratory we've proven it time and time again in multiple different episodes throughout the entire series so moving into our next tip at tip number eight is a secondary account I know not everybody out there believes in having a secondary account, but if you're playing Clash of Clans free to play, one thing that we've discovered here at Town Hall 12 is that upgrades themselves take a really long time. 14 days for a building upgrade. Laboratory upgrades are about 14 days. Hero upgrades, like I showed you a moment ago, seven days of upgrade. So if you have all of your builders down for upgrade, you filled up your resources getting ready for the next upgrade, what is there to do next? Play Builders Hall? I mean, you can play Builders Hall, sure, by all means, if you haven't unlocked your sixth builder. But the other option would be to create a secondary account or a rush base. Now, I don't really like to encourage rush bases because it's a lot of work in itself. I have a rush base. But one of the cool things about a rush base is that there is no limitations to your upgrades. Yes, you have equally long high <laughs> upgrade times, but there's always something to do over here. So if you're waiting on those upgrades on your free 
free to play account you can jump over to the rush base and just do walls or something if you want it's just an option plus with a rush base you have an opportunity to donate to yourself that helps out quite a bit if you're in a smaller clan speaking of clan tip number nine when it comes to a clan i'm all the time hearing players complain about not being able to find a clan or their clan is not good enough and they want to try to be in the big youtubers clan i don't necessarily recommend that as an option in all cases because just because you see the clan on YouTube it might not be a really good fit for you does that make sense I mean we got a lot of competitive players in Battle Elite there's a lot of competitive players in Paradox Reloaded or Enigma and it might not be something that you're interested in doing you got to think about your play style now if you're complaining saying that we don't max out clan games or I can't get any clan donations it's time for you to find a new clan now I'm not gonna sit there and say that without giving you a solution that's why we have a discord server with over 32,000 people to come in and communicate with and network try to find your forever home as a clan people that you enjoy playing the game with that play the game how you want to play it whether you want to be just a farmer or you want to be a trophy pusher or you want to participate in competitive clan war we have all of those options and there are always clans looking for new players so if you're having a really hard time in your clan and you're not satisfied with the clan donations or you're not satisfied with the results from the clan games or your clan wars it's definitely time to find a new clan you got to do it i know not everybody out there will suggest that not everybody will agree with that statement but that is the fact of the matter and last but not least tip number 10 clan war there is one thing about the free to play series that a lot of players don't really understand i wore one week every single month for the clan war leagues and a lot of players don't really understand the reason behind that and that's mainly because you guys want to see progress on the base if i'm not taking breaks from clan war and i'm not designating time to upgrading my base the series gets longer and longer and longer right and nobody really wants to watch that so it does require a lot of farming since we are doing this free to play and participating in the clan games and the special events just to keep those builders going but if you're getting burnt out like if you're really tired of farming and you don't want to do it anymore and you feel like you're about to quit clash of clans then you need to stop upgrading those heroes and get into clan war and start participating with your clan that's how you avoid that burnout re realistic if you're not doing this what ends up happening is is you're just so tired of farming you're like i don't want to do this anymore i'm done forget this i can't do what joe does well of course you can't do what joe does because joe makes youtube videos for clash of clans on youtube and everybody wants to see the videos but you're you can't keep up with that because you don't have that motivation of the youtube videos you have the motivation of what you enjoy doing so if you don't enjoy farming all the time then you need to be in clan war and this is just one one option now if you have low level heroes you have low level troops you have to set lower standards you cannot do the same thing that these high level players do you know I can't even do some of this stuff I'm a really decent player but at the same time if I don't have level 65 level 65 and level 40 then I really can't replicate a lot of the things that these guys are doing does that make sense you got to set some uh, realistic uh, <laughs> goals for yourself so I hope that makes sense I really and truly do and that is gonna to finish this up for today guys that is 10 different tips that has helped me continue on throughout the free to play series and stay free to play hopefully most of that stuff makes sense to you and helps you stay free to play and motivated if you enjoy today's content make sure to leave a like on the video subscribe if you have not done so already and if you like watching us quite regularly turn on those notifications now if you need any additional video support or you would like to see this town hall 12 free to play series from the very beginning click one of those links over there and we'll see you in the next one guys take care